Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a quick video uh, time to show you a little bit how to repair uh, the best way to repair a um, USB key that has problems now uh, keep in mind that lots of the problems when USB keys it can be uh, mechanical it can be electronic so it can be the key itself that's bad but very often the problem on USB keys is simply the file system being corrupt. So you try to transfer files, it's going to say, uh, it's going to say that for example the file is too big yet when you look at the files it's small and it, there's enough space. Or it can tell you that an error occurred while it, it was transferring from the computer to the key or from the key to the computer. Uh, so all sorts of little things can happen. Maybe it's unreadable. You've uh, you put it on and it's uh, doesn't show anything, or it gives you a, a weird message. So uh, one of the little things that you can actually do is format your USB key. So what you'll do is that insert your USB key in any USB port. It will bring you to the File Explorer. If you um, put that key for the first time you might have a window on the upper right of your screen that says a tab here to see what you can do what happens with your um, USB drive then you'll tap on that message on the upper right and you'll be uh, sent to the file explorer here so you wanna format the drive what you'll do is actually right click in the left panel there on your USB drive so keep in mind you have to find what is the name of your USB drive under the uh, computer tab here. Right click on the drive and then you'll have in the list format. Click there and just leave it with the default name and the same information that is already there. A quick format is alright. Just do start and you're going to say OK. Keep in mind, formatting your USB drive will erase everything on the drive. So that's very important to know. So I'll click OK. And after a few moments, your USB key is going to be formatted. So it says here, format complete. So if your drive is kind of flaky, that is one great little option to uh, use because uh, very often, um, I'd say almost once, 50% uh, of the time, uh, your USB drive is unusable just because the file system is corrupt. So by formatting, you're actually creating a new file system on the drive, so it comes back as a uh, good working order drive. If formatting doesn't work, um, then your drive might actually have uh, different problems. Um, it can have a compatibility problem with your computer, it can have a driver problem in your computer, you can also have a faulty drive. Uh, keep in mind that USB keys um, are good and reliable but if you use them very often as I do, for example this drive I keep with my keys in my pockets every day. I use it at least uh, 20 to 30 times a week on different computers so the chances are very high that it's actually gonna break. The more you use your drive with different types of computers the higher the chances that your drive is going to fail. Um, it could be because of bad voltage in computer ports so some computer USB ports might deliver a higher voltage than necessary and actually burn out the drive components. But formatting your drive is a great way to uh, try to bring it back to life if there's a problem. And of course, like every time you enter your uh, USB key, don't forget to go either on the bottom right and eject your USB key or go into the file explorer on the left and in the left pane just right click on your USB key and click the eject. So uh, both ways are good to eject before you actually take it out of the USB port. Keep in mind that um, lots of the USB key problems uh, come from being um, 
removed from the computer without being ejected and that will corrupt your file system so uh, if you did uh, remove it from your computer without ejecting it then formatting will actually fix any problems that was on the drive once again keep in mind that formatting your USB drive will actually uh, erase everything on your drive. So if you enjoy these uh, Windows 8 videos and uh, want to learn more on how to use your Windows 8 machine, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. And uh, of course, you might uh, give us suggestions for uh, videos you'd like to see and we'll try to put those online for you and uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye bye!